I've been a part of this house for the better part of six, seven years. And every time that I come here, I find new features, new details, and new elements that I just wouldn't think would exist. And they don't exist in any other property that I've been to. Hey everyone, welcome to Park City, Utah. Today we're touring this incredible contemporary estate designed by the world-renowned designer Wallace Cunningham. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Can't wait to show it to you. Let's go have a look. The house is located in the exclusive gated community of Promontory. We have this long private driveway bringing us to the estate. It is situated on this incredible 5.61 acre lot. Views are absolutely breathtaking and we have this stunning home. Now, we came here yesterday. In fact, we shot this scene yesterday, but it was snowing and it was so cold out that we decided to do it again on our day two because it's beautiful outside right now. Park City looks stunning, mountain ranges, the scenery. I'm so excited. Yeah, yesterday it was, uh, I thought it looked really cool. Um, I think this house looks really cool, obviously in the sun and when it's snowing, um, but maybe we can show people best of both worlds now. Without a doubt. Now, let's come this way so we can take a look at this architectural home. Beautiful roof lines, clear story windows, walls of glass bringing natural light, houses multiple elevations, and we'll talk more about these architectural details later. Now, on my left-hand side, we have a water feature that is currently buried under snow. And coming right here, we have this bridge that protects these two car garages that we have on each side. This section also works as a carport and the same driveway turns around. That way you can pull in and pull out of the property very easily. Now coming here, we have the entry. Look at this massive glass pivot door and it welcomes you into the house. Now this two-story entry is stunning. Natural stone floors. The same stone that we saw on the exterior facade is also brought here and we're gonna see this detail throughout the property. Indoor plants, this entire section is glass. In fact, that's the glass elevator that goes up to the second floor, just like this steel structural staircase. On this wing, we have the guest suites and the screening room, which we'll cover later. And now I wanna talk about this beautiful staircase design. It's bolted to the back wall, and that's how they give each one of these steps this floating effect. Then on top, we have these beautiful walnut steps, glass railing, and the way this glass railing is attached to this staircase, this stainless steel hand railing, and how it continues and goes up to the second floor, this is a piece of art. Yeah, this whole house, uh, it's extremely architectural. Uh, from the exterior to the interior. As we walk through, you're gonna see a lot of different architectural details that we don't usually get to see in homes. Without a doubt. Then we have Venetian plaster walls reflecting the light throughout. And I wanna mention one more thing. The water feature that I mentioned on the exterior actually goes underneath the driveway and cascades around the property. And we're gonna see that detail later in the tour. Overall, very impressive entry. And now let's take the staircase so we can check out the top floor. Here we are on the second floor landing, glass elevator on my left hand side. Look at the roof lines above me with all these clear story windows, angles, picture windows on each side facing these incredible views. Right off the landing, we have this beautiful piano that dresses up the space. And on the other side, we have a really nice built-in bar all stone clad, again, facing the views. On the other side, we have some cabinetry. Then this stone wall creates some separation between the landing and the formal 
living room area. This is a phenomenal space, minimalist furniture, ton of natural light coming in, beautiful roof lines, ton of architectural details. And before I get into those details, I wanna talk about the specs of this home. We're looking at four bedrooms, four full, three half baths, approximately 8,000 square feet of interior space, 5.61 acre lot, and it comes with an additional 37 acre lot, which I will cover later, on the market for $29 million. Without a doubt, one of the coolest homes we've ever toured. And I wanna to give big thanks to the listing agents, Damon, Dash, and Alan for making this tour possible. We're so excited to be here. Yeah, we always love coming to Utah. We always love our uh, winter episodes. We don't get enough of them, but this is our first of the year. Hopefully not our last. Hopefully it's not our last. All right, I wanna bring everybody back to the seating area. Minimalist furniture that comes with the sale of this home. Right in the center, we have these gorgeous coffee tables that fits the space really well because if you look at the walls here, room tapers off to this side and that's why this is the thinnest part of the coffee tables and it kind of opens up on this side. Walls of glass facing these views. That's the front of the home. That door right there opens up to the main patio. It's an incredible space and look above us, all these roof lines, clear story windows, natural stone walls. And I wanna bring everybody to this side. This is where we have the floating fireplace. Goes really well with the architectural lines of this home. And here's an interesting fact, Mikey. I'm pretty sure you don't know this as well. The stone on this wall is called Serpentine Verde. In fact, all the stones throughout the house are the same stone, but they're all finished in different ways, meaning on the floors, they are brushed, so they have a little bit of a texture to it. On the walls, they are cleave-faced, so they have more of this organic kind of a rock look. And on the countertops or around the fireplaces, they have a polished finish, so they look a little bit more smooth and reflective. And that way, when you're around the fireplace, you can actually see the reflection of the fire. So cool. It's all the same stone that came from Italy. How amazing is that? Yeah, that's really cool. I like the, the kind of subtle green color and how it doesn't look green everywhere if it is the same stone, you know? Well, they're all finished in different ways. Thus, they all have different colors to them as well, but they're all in the uh, green tones. Yeah. All right, let's open up this sliding glass door so we can check out this amazing front-facing patio. First off, look at the scenery here. We got a lot of snow last night, so you have this nice even coating. But I wanted to bring everybody to this point so we can look at the architectural lines of this home. This is a very unique property. I really like these roof lines with clear story windows. Then they cantilever on the lower section. And if you look at this wall, it curves beautifully, but it's not a single wall that curves. It's actually multiple straight walls at slightly different angles, giving you this curving effect. And in between those walls, they have these linear glass inserts to bring natural light to the property. This is such a unique structure. When they're constructing a house like this, how difficult is it for them to get like this wall array that they have perfect? I can't imagine this is an easy thing. Very difficult. In fact, it took them two years to design it and six years to build it. Really? Yeah, and it was completed in 2012. And this is only one section of it. Yes, and here's where it gets crazy. Instead of building the house with a foundation that levels the home, that way you can build a straight or a flat first and second floor, the designer here, Wallace Cunningham, wanted to follow the natural slope of this land. And that's why throughout the house or throughout the interior spaces, you're gonna see multiple levels. And we're either gonna have staircases or these descending ramps, taking us from the one level to another. I'm explaining this to you because if you look at the roof lines, each roof stacks over the other, and you get this look by naturally sloping the entire property. I hope I made sense because this is a very important aspect of this home. This is why this property is so crazy. Mike, you look at this house from the bird's eye view. Each one of the roofs stacks on top of each other, continuously drawing this beautiful S shape. It's just incredible. The fact that they got all of their measurements right. They custom designed all these clear story windows that fits every one of these little spaces and openings and managed to put it all together. It's incredible. My hat's off to them. I'm impressed. You said the house was built in 2012. We've, yes. seen, we've seen some very architectural homes that are built recently and it takes them a few years to settle. 
and like I feel like they might settle and and some problem areas could open up. Zero. Yeah, there's like nothing wrong with this house that we found. Yeah. I haven't seen a single crack. Exactly. And this is the second property that we're touring that Wallace Cunningham designed. We toured another property in Encinitas, California, and that one was impressive, but personally, I think this is more impressive. You know, the architectural lines here, I know we've been here for a minute, but this is fascinating. Yeah, and I just love the snow. I hear you. All right, let's go back inside, back to the formal living room area. Great volume, ton of natural light coming in, and we have another seating area on this side. Four single chairs, this organic coffee table that fits the space nicely. I really like these side lamps, and what a great place for you to sit down, conversate with your friends, and face these incredible views. Another detail I wanna point out, these walls open up towards these views. That way, as you're sitting down here, talking to your friends, your eyes are drawn towards these breathtaking views. I know we said views so many times already, but how do you not? I mean, in fact, let me open up these sliding glass doors. I don't wanna spoil the patio yet, but look at these breathtaking views. I mean, this is insane. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Uh, I, I don't know, something about the mountains and the snow, it's, it's, it's just profoundly relaxing to me. Couldn't agree more. And we'll come back to this patio later. Now, let's go back to the formal living room because we're gonna check out the other side now. And as we are walking around, each level, floor pattern is different. You know, they're all turned to different sides. Another staircase here, back to the landing. And now let's talk about the formal dining area. This is a beautiful space that faces the views on each side. Love the volume here, ton of natural light coming in. And right in the center, we have this gorgeous stone table, seating for eight, leather chairs, built-ins on this side. Look at the angles here, stack stone, those beams. Look at that corner right there. You have, let's see, four different clear story windows and all of it coming together, flashed beautifully to make sure it's waterproof. It's insane, Mike, it's, it's really hard to cover all the details. Yeah, and like we said, this house is like solid as a rock, you know? Without a doubt. All right, follow me this way. This is where the kitchen starts. Now it's designed in a way to make you think that it's not a kitchen as you're passing by. That way, if you're flowing from one space to another, it's just another room, but if you look closely, all the cabinetry, some of the appliances are behind these doors, and it's just different. You have the first section here, second section on this side, and before we continue our tour with this kitchen, I wanna mention, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you wanna watch more of these home tours, make sure to give us a like, and uh, consider subscribing to our channel so you can see more. We never ask for it, because we're really bad at asking for it. We always forget. Yeah, we kind of focus on what we're doing, in fact, we're so bad at asking for it, I have a label printed out on the back of my camera and on the monitor of my camera. So Ennis can see subscribe to the channel and I can see subscribe to the channel. It's a reminder for us to ask uh, our viewers to yeah. subscribe and we still forget it. We never, we never actually read it. The truth is once we arrive to these shoes, we're so excited to shoot these homes, yes, whatever we are doing and we're so focused on our work, we forget this kind of stuff and we feel like if you do good work, People will recognize it, people will subscribe. So uh, yeah, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. We try our best. All right, so kitchen is here, but first I'm gonna take everybody to this small hallway. Check this out, this is really cool. We have a powder bathroom here, cleave face stone on this side, pearlescent mosaic wall here, which reflects nicely. Then you have this massive frosted picture window facing the patio, really unique vanity, glass bowl, and check this out. They have this box that's floor mounted. That's where your light switches are at. Really? That's, yeah. That's uh, really unique. I feel like we've never seen that before. You know why? Because you don't have any walls. You have glass here and they didn't want to put it on this side. That's why they had to come up with this box design, which I think is super unique. Yeah. Second detail, look at the hardware on this glass door. Beautiful handle. Then this floor mount pivoting hardware and above we have another gorgeous assembly that looks so cool. It's just a powder bathroom, you know? I'm really curious, like 
uh, Ennis likes to talk about hardware. He, he likes to talk about it more than we actually do talk about it on the yes, channel. Yes, I, I actually keep it low because I don't want to bore people. Well, I'm curious, like, how much of the audience watching this video likes to hear Ennis talk about hardware, and how much of them are like, I just want to see the house, you know? Please let us know in the comment section. If I read two, three comments, that means people are not liking it, so I won't yeah. talk about it. Yeah, exactly. All right, so now, kitchen, check this out. Panel, fridge, freezer. They have few refrigerator drawers here. Again, polished countertops. I talked about the minimalist lines. Okay. That's where we have the microwave, right? By the way, this is all walnut cabinetry, vein matched. Coming this way, this is the main section of the kitchen. Love this round island, and they left the center part of it open. That way, you kind of have this continuous flow to the other two sections. By the way, even though legs are all curved, these are functioning cabinets. All right, ready? Who does this? Oh, wow. You're Minimalist. right. You're right. They, they kind of hid the kitchen, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Massive picture window facing the patio. More cabinetry here. And on the other side, we have the main sink. Let's see. I believe this is the dishwasher. Where's the stove? Right there. Oh, okay. Induction <laughs> cooktop, Mikey. Two of them with a pop-up vent. Can you see the outside right now or it's blown out? It's a little bright. There we go. Breathtaking. Absolutely gorgeous. Deer Valley, you can see the rest of the promontory here, Uinta Mountain Range, all these mountaintops, unbelievable. Just, I'm out of words. Yeah. I love great. this. And uh, let's look at the roof again. Are you seeing all these angles? How they're coming together? Okay, I'm gonna take a moment, I'm gonna get nerdy here. The way they built this house, how all these roofs are cascading over each other, it's such a difficult detail to pull off because you need to flash these openings to make sure they're waterproof. Then you need to be able to install these windows at an angle that's so difficult. All these glass pieces that you guys are seeing right now, they're all custom pieces. They are not standard window sizes that you can just order. Every single glass window or door in this house, I bet was a custom order. But yeah, all right, welcome to this space. It's like an additional lounge. It could be a breakfast nook. You have this glass table in the center almost like a small office too. TV around the corner on an arm, that way you can pivot, get the perfect angle, easy access to the patio, and this space flows to this last section. Now this is a really nice space, few chairs, you're really close to the grounds, you can appreciate the views. It's a cozy room, you have the TV around the corner, and just a perfect place for you to, I don't know, drink your coffee, read a book, it's one of my favorite spaces in the house, actually. It would be a, it would be a great office if, if you could put some doors in here. For sure. Yeah. I'm sure you can replace that with a sliding glass door and just go straight to the patio. One thing I forgot, actually, we should have had this on. Mikey, can you hit the fireplace button? So this is really nice. All these fireplaces are on a button, so you don't have to come here, light it up. They're all automatic. Takes a second, but, yep. you know. Let's wait it out. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to see it. There you go, just like that. Yeah. And look how beautiful that corner is. You can actually see this fireplace from the patio. And I wanna mention one more thing also. This property is within Promontory, which is this amazing exclusive gated community. Comes with so many different amenities. I don't even know where to begin when talking about the amenities at Promontory. They have invested over $400 million into some of the shared amenities of the community. Promontory is a guard-gated 7,200-acre parcel that encompasses two golf courses, four restaurants, multiple clubhouses, multiple gyms, and literally every, every recreational outlet that you could want, from its private hiking and biking trails to its private ski lodges at both Park City and Deer Valley. It's located right outside of Park City and is designed to stand alone so you never have to go into the city if you don't want to. And it's amazing to me that you get to live in a secluded setting like this, but you're still part of a community. And with that, we're done with this seating area. Now let's go outside, check out that amazing patio and these breathtaking views. This entire section has underfloor heating. That way you can melt the snow and be able to utilize the space year round. I mean, look at these crazy roof lines behind me, clear story windows, snow is melting, weather is amazing, and there you go. Snow can uh, drop from the roof as well, so you gotta watch out. Yeah. 
and uh, we have all these picture windows from the formal living room, landing of the second floor. And right here, we have the outdoor kitchen, comes with a gas grill. That door opens up to the main kitchen. That way you have an easy access there. And I wanna talk about one more detail. So this house has a zinc roof, goes with the architectural lines of this property. And I learned that zinc has self-healing qualities, which means if you scratch this roof, patina over time develops again and blends in the look. How cool is that? I feel like we've toured a lot of homes and we've never heard the term self-healing roof. I guess that's unique to, to zinc. Without a doubt, and again, this house with these architectural lines, overhangs, cantilevered roof lines, it's fascinating. It has such a distinct look. It looks like a piece of modern art in the mountains. It's just, I can't wrap my head around that. It. It's striking. When we first saw photos of this place, it's like, a, it, it looks like a render, you know? Without a doubt. All right, let's continue this way. Right in front of us, we have the main section of the patio. Comes with this amazing fire pit that cozies up the scene. And they don't have any outdoor furniture here right now. But as you can imagine, you can easily entertain a couple hundred people here, enjoy this property, and look at these breathtaking views. I mean, these views are just magical. Look at this scene. This is incredible. This is really beautiful. Again, uh, like in the intro, we filmed this section yesterday in the snow and it's just a totally different feel, a totally different environment. It's a little bit more calm right now. Yeah, we, we saw this view today and we we're like, we have to shoot this again. Without a doubt, I mean, these views are so amazing. And actually, Mikey, can we go this way? And I wanna talk about one more thing. Owning a property like this, I feel like you own two different homes because during summer, this house and the scenery here looks so different versus now everything is covered under snow. It's so peaceful. It's so relaxing. I feel like I can just sit on a chair here right now and just look at these views for hours and I won't get bored. Yeah, we are also in the shade right now and I have just a long sleeve uh, button down shirt on. It's really not that cold out here. It feels, feels great, yeah. Amazing, you have the fire pit and can we focus on these views for a second? So down below is a reservoir and it's frozen right now and we've been told that people go ice fishing there, which sounds very interesting. We don't often get the chance to visit these kind of landscapes and we were really curious about what this reservoir would look like up close. Luckily, Dash, one of the listing agents, volunteered to drive us down there to check it out. We're here down at Rockport Reservoir. This is the reservoir you can see to the north when you're hanging out in Cascade. We can actually see the house on the top of the ridge up there. Amazing. But down here, uh, it's winter and summer recreation. I mean, we can see people coming off the ice right now. It's just gotten really warm. Like yeah. we're literally at the lake level right now. Like yeah. that's the water. And Jason, can we turn back? Show everyone like what we had to go through to get here. Mikey, say hi. <laughs> that's everyone right there. And I just love that landscape and the surroundings here. You get to use it. 12 months a year. Yeah. It's just a matter of what kind of activities you want to do yeah. and whether you want to ice fish right now or go for a little hike like we did or come here during summer. Incredible. Yeah. All right. That's it for the reservoir. Thank you for taking us down here. I don't know if this will make the cut, but it's not easy to shoot these videos, you know? Just to go down to the reservoir, we had to hike for like 15 minutes. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm glad we did it because I've never seen a place like this before. It was awesome. And uh, now we have to hike this way. Oh. I can't imagine you having the patience to sit out there on some cold ice. And I don't have the patience. Try to catch a fish. I agree with you. Yeah. And behind the reservoir, we have the Uinta Mountain Range. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at the peaks, snow, clouds. This is incredible. This is it's gorgeous. Yeah. All right, Mikey, actually, can we turn back one more time? I want to talk about one more thing. This house is built on a hillside. And when they built this property, they wanted to follow the natural grading of the land. And that's why, as you can see, primary bedroom over there is the highest point and each level goes down. That's why we have multiple staircases bringing you down to this point, which is the lowest part of this patio glass railing throughout, beautiful stainless steel hardware. That's the corner fireplace that we saw the last seating area before we started touring the patio. So it's really nice that you can see it from here as well. Now coming here, 
more of these breathtaking views. On our right hand side, we have Deer Valley, which is right around Park City. And speaking of views, down below us, there's a 37 acre plot that comes with this offering. That way you get more land and your views are protected forever. I mean, this is stunning. And I gotta say, we got a chance to spend a few days in Park City, hang out with Damon and Dash, check out the surroundings, go to dinners, hang out, have fun, and it's been amazing. It seems like every time we come to Park City, we enjoy our time here a little bit more. You tried this a lot. No, I'm knee deep right now, dude. When we try to learn the area, we commit to it, you know? If this means we have to go into snow, so we can get a better look at the development, guess what? We're doing it. This was just a quick two-day trip, but we still tried to have as much fun as we could. Something I have failed to mention up until now are that Damon and Dash are both professional skiers turned real estate agents. When I say professional skiers, I really mean it. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to ski and really experience one of the main draws of Park City in the winter time. But Damon and Dash were a fantastic host for our entire trip and took their time to make sure that we had the best trip we possibly could. From our long discussions of the home and location to the evening we all spent together at one of the local restaurants at Promontory, we really enjoyed seeing Park City through their eyes. So we're here in Promontory Club. This is the Dye Clubhouse. And uh, we're going to the Hearth restaurant for dinner. Could you introduce yourself for me and say what, like, how you found us? Of course, yeah. So I'm Max Freyer with Windermere Real Estate. You were one of our very earliest subscribers, maybe under a thousand. You know? What do you like about our content? Oh my god, it's just the best, you know, and there, there's, you know, it's seemingly more and more people that do it, but you guys do it by far better than anyone else, so, I mean, it's easy to watch, you know, it's cut so well, all the shots you guys get are incredible, like, I, I truly enjoy it, it's really amazing. Thank you. Yeah, we really appreciate it. In our two days here, we just barely scratched the surface of what makes Park City such a great place to call home. I can't thank Damon and Dash enough for their incredible hospitality, and I hope that we come back soon for a ski lesson. I feel like every time we come to Utah, every time we tour these mountain homes and explore and understand this snow setting, we seem to enjoy it a little bit more. And with that, we're done with this patio. Now let's go back inside so we can check out that amazing primary bedroom suite. So the primary bedroom wing starts here. We have this opening taking us to this landing, all nut cabinetry, all vein matched, and above is actually open. And I'm gonna point this out later once we go into the primary bedroom. This is the walkway that takes you to the bedroom, but before we go there, we're gonna check out the space that's right behind the store. Now, what's interesting about here, Mikey? Uh, it's, it's wood, it's, okay. it's at an angle. Uh, it, there's a stone wall it closes into. Okay. Um, uh, maybe like the, the way the wood pattern is? I don't know. You missed two details. Number one, there's no door frame. Okay. It's just a hardware and a slab. That is interesting. Second, it's open on top. And this is a powder bathroom. So it's a bit of a bold move, you know? And you come in and the details here. First off, look at the ceiling heights. It's insane. It's got to be... What, like 20, 22 foot? Nah, maybe higher, super high. Then they have this pearlescent mosaic tile that runs the entire wall, cleave faced on this side. Look at this vanity. This round design with this stainless steel side shelf, corner mirror, frost glass on the other side to bring as much natural light to the space as possible. And this is a powder bathroom. You have a Venetian plaster wall here reflecting the light throughout the space. It's insane. Yeah, and you mentioned the plaster walls at the uh, bottom of the staircase, right? Correct. Um, I feel like we haven't seen one in a while. Is this house all plaster walls? I think they only have drywall on the ceilings. So any wall you see, it's either stone or Venetian plaster. All right, more details, ready? Recessed in floor lights, 
to light up the texture on these stone walls. Um, let me see how, I, how we can do this. Actually, follow me this way. This pivot door, look how big it is, opens up to the primary bedroom. You have this staircase, and I mentioned it already a couple times. You have elevation differences. That's why you need staircases to be able to go up to the next space. We have the bedroom here, but first, Mikey, can you turn around? I gotta show this detail. So we talked about this on the front-facing patio. Remember that entire wall curves? Mm -hmm. These are the straight walls, and they have these glass inserts in between to bring natural light and just create this amazing, I don't wanna say illusion, amazing corridor. Well, it is all stone. I feel like with no windows, it would also be kind of dark in this corridor, but they brought a little light in here by throwing some windows on. And another detail, I really, really appreciate this. Between the sliding glass doors and all the glass inserts, they are properly sealed with the finished material butting up to it. Yeah. So there's no gap, like the, there's no air gap here. It's properly sealed. And I just noticed that window actually runs up above, I guess that's a roof line right there, right? Correct. Yeah, so you get even more natural light. Totally. And welcome to the primary bedroom. Phenomenal space. Again, volume, roof lines, textures, king size bed right here, and the bed frame, side tables, and this entire back wall is all walnut. In fact, the back wall is all book matched. Look at the bedside light fixtures. You have a really nice home automation remote there so you can control your fireplace, all the lights, automatic shades throughout. As you guys can imagine with all this glass, they have built-in shades. And the bedroom actually feels a little bit cozier because they have these trees hedging this side. You still get the views, but it's a little bit more protected. Now, right in the center, we have this floating fireplace. We've seen a lot of these so far. It really fits the room and just cozies up the space, you know? Yeah, and because it's open, I feel like it doesn't enclose the room at all or make it feel smaller. Without a doubt. And you have a seating area here. That way seating area can benefit from the fireplace as well. Beautiful marble table. We have two seating areas for the primary bedroom. This is the first one. We're gonna see the other one in a bit. Then of course, primary bedroom gets its own balcony, fire pit in the center, and these amazing views. I mean, what a phenomenal space. And I gotta say, this is our third day here. And the first night we arrived, the property looked amazing at night. I can't stress it enough. And with all these like clear story windows and angles and roof lines, Throughout the day, with all the windows, the way the light moves through this space is just beautiful. Now, ready? Look at this pocket door that tucks into the wall and opens up to the secondary seating area for the primary bedroom. Super cozy, few chairs, really nice coffee table, TV on the other side with some speakers. Do you remember that space? I assume that is the wall that you said was open. Off of the landing. That's right. That way, even though this is a dedicated area for the primary bedroom, it's still connected to the rest of the house. Great light coming in. Look at that angle right there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Honestly, where I'm standing, it's even better because you can see down the True. roof line, you know? It looks very cool. True, and you have a picture window here facing these amazing views, unobstructed, thin frame, and these chairs are, by the way, super comfortable. The other day, I took like a 30 minute nap and it was amazing. Well, I wasn't gonna bring that up. I did it for you. All right, that's it for the bedroom. Two hallways bringing us to the primary bathroom. We're gonna take this one first. All the cabinetry curves, again, these walls are at an angle, and this is the first walk-in closet. Obviously, this room curving dictates how the cabinetry is gonna be laid out. That's why they have this really cool, almost an island design with polished countertops. Look at the cabinetry here. Look how thin this edge is and it kind of opens up. Entire closet here is all vein matched. And I really appreciate that they kept the closet low enough so natural light can travel through the space. Now, another detail, I'm all over the place today. Look how amazing this bench is. It's a custom furniture designed for this corner. That way it curves really nicely. Super cool, huh? Yeah, I love how they use the wood and kind of plants to add splashes of color to each of these spaces, you know? There you go. Welcome to the bathroom. This vanity setup here is so cool. It's mirrored on the other side, meaning the setup you have here, they have it on the other side as well. Stainless steel sinks. I really like these countertop mounts. 
mirrors with LED lighting. It's super open that way from any corner, you can just enjoy these views. You know, like look at all these picture windows, these stone columns. Then you come to this side, you have your walk-in shower, I'm going in there. This is so cool. They have the same stone here pretty much throughout the shower, obviously in different sizes and different finishes. And here's what's so interesting. We have glass walls here, right? And then you have this massive picture window. Instead of putting the rain head handles and shower fixtures on this wall, they decided to have this floor mount brush nickel shower head, which is also a rain head. This is incredible. I'm out of words. This is so cool. Who comes up with a bathroom design like this? And look how close we are to the outside. Yeah. It feels like I'm showering outside. There's snow, there's trees, these stone columns. It feels, it feels so significant and like you, you feel very powerful in this bathroom. I don't, it, that's a weird way to say it, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. This reminds me a lot of like a John Lautner style architectural bathroom. But uh, if y'all didn't catch it earlier, the architect's name is Wallace Cunningham. And right behind Ennis, there's a bathtub that reminds me a lot of a bathtub we saw at another one of his properties we toured in Encinitas. Exactly. Japanese soaking tub. It's built into the ground. You have these jets. The back sides are at an angle. That way when you're sitting down, it feels very comfortable. And instead of coming up with a bulky railing design to help you get in and out, they placed these, I'm gonna say chrome poles and you just built them into the ground. They're so strong. It's insane. I was like, somebody's gonna bend this. No, like they're in there. Yeah. And rest of the bathroom, I'm speechless. I mean, look at all these picture windows, stone columns, your second or the other side of your vanity, polished countertops. And check this out. When Wallace designed this house, he wanted each one of these hallways to have a different feel, right? Over there, it's a little bit more private. You have these small window openings. Mm -hmm. On this side, it's way more open. You have these massive picture windows and these columns. All your built-in uh, closets on the right side, yeah? Exactly, and this is your second closet, and as you're walking down, it's an experience. Every window frames a different view. You have a small bar here for the primary bedroom, microwave, fridge, few cabinets, and coming here, back to the primary bedroom, full circle. With that, we're done with this side of the home. And now let's go downstairs so we can check out the rest of the bedrooms. Now let's go check out the lower level. A few bedrooms, we have a screening room there that we'll check out in a bit. But first, I gotta talk about this really cool detail. Now, on face value, this may look like another pocket door, but it's not. It's actually a curved pocket door, and they measured the width of this door just right enough that even though it's curved, it can still tuck in very easily. How nice is that? I'm sure that wasn't easy. How do they curve wood like this? Is it all with like pressure and, and water and moisture? Pressure, moisture, the way they laminate, who knows? Yeah, so they'll like soak it, then bend it, then probably bake it to dry it out again. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Mud room. That door opens up to the two car garage that's on this wing. Then we have this hallway taking us to the laundry room with a sink, some cabinetry, and at the end, they also have a powder bathroom. So that's the third powder bathroom. Now, let's bring everybody to this side. We're gonna start our tour on this level with the first bedroom. It's drenched with natural light right now. It's so bright here, is that I wanna put my sunglasses on. I know it's gonna sound pretentious, but are you seeing this? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, and this, again, Ennis has said this a few times. This is our third day here. And uh, we actually shot Ennis's part yesterday. But Some then snow the, falling yeah, right now. The sun came out and we were like, man, we really have to get it with natural light, you know? This house looks so good with snow and sun. I was like, Mikey, we gotta tour this whole place again. Yeah. Like, I don't care if it's more work. Let's just show this house at its best light. And here we are. It looks incredible, that's all I'm gonna say. Either way, throughout this whole video, I'm sure you'll see a few shots of uh, it snowing outside. Both days, without know? a doubt. King size bed, Venetian plaster walls. I love this detail. Look at these two recessed in wall lights. And then you have the bedside tables that are incorporated to the walls. Then we have this built-in shelf. Starts narrow here and opens up on this side because this wall is at an angle. This TV is on an arm, that way you can watch it very easily from your bed. And right behind me, we have two chairs. 
and I'm gonna do this Mikey. It may be a little windy outside, but it's good. Let's go check it out. So, this is the patio for this bedroom. The water feature that we mentioned at the beginning or at the entry of this property cascades all the way to this side. I say cascades because they built the water feature following the natural grading of the land, which is amazing. And unfortunately, we cannot see the water feature right now because it's buried under the snow. But uh, yeah, this is the patio or little backyard space for this bedroom. Now, let's continue our tour with the bathroom. Actually, we have the walk-in closet here and this door opens up to the bathroom. Pretty much the same finishes, walnut cabinetry, two stainless steel sinks. And I feel like we've been seeing more of these countertop or ceiling mount floating mirrors. Yeah. They're really popular and uh, these mirrors just go really well with the design elements and kind of like the futuristic lines of this home. Yeah, I remember the first time we saw a floating mirror. I was like, that's really interesting. And then we started seeing these. I really like it. It makes sense because we have this massive picture window, right? That way you can see the views and you want to take as little from these views as possible. And that's why coming up with this floating and kind of efficient design makes sense. Walk-in shower, again, pearlescent mosaic tile, chrome fixtures, water closet here, beautiful bathroom. Now. Let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. The room next door is the screening room. Again, Venetian plaster walls. This space is super cool. We have four leather recliner chairs, TVs on the other side. I gotta show this detail. Cabinetry curves, right? Mm -hmm. Center point is the section that has the most amount of depth. And that's why they placed the fridge oh, right here. Wow. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Massive TV. And the other day, I also took a 30 minute nap here. I know Mikey did it too. These things are so comfortable. Yeah, you're just walking around talking about everywhere you took a nap at this house. I know, yeah. we've been traveling a lot. And you have more sliding glass doors here opening up to the outside. Then steps take you down to this section, which is a small gym, dumbbell, elliptical, more views. This is a great multi-purpose room. Now, I wanna talk about something that's a little bit off subject. Every time we release these videos, I get so many DMs from our viewers. They're like, you guys are in Utah? You guys are in Lake Como? Can we meet up? The thing is, by the time we're done editing these videos, it's five, six weeks out. It takes three to four weeks, if not over a month to edit these videos. Yeah, Jordan alone took us maybe three and a half months to get that totally complete, but- It released, you know-, uh, you know Licensing know. footage, everything, yeah. Exactly. So by the time you guys see these videos on YouTube, we are already moved on. The best way to keep up with what we are doing is on Instagram. We try to post there as much as possible. So they're gonna be like, Ennis is plugging everything on this episode. But if you guys wanna know where we are at the moment, I'm gonna put Mikey and I's Instagrams down below. Just follow us there. That's the best thing you can do to see where we are exactly at the moment. As for right now, we're in Utah. Correct. <laughs> All right, back to the hallway. Now, this hallway tapers off to this section and instead of using staircases or steps to take us to the other side of the home, the designer in here put this ramp that gently descends and takes us to the other side where we have the remaining two bedrooms. We're gonna start our tour with this one. Again, Venetian plaster walls, king size bed, unbelievable views, TV, chairs. I love it. I, you know, I don't have much to say. I love it. I, I, I just love the stone. That's, 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 I can't say it enough, you know? Now, all the bathrooms in this house are somewhat uniform. So I'm not gonna go in there. We have another floating vanity with two sinks, walk-in shower, water closet. This is your walk-in closet. And that's pretty much it for this bedroom. Now, coming here. This door opens up to the last bedroom. This is the junior primary bedroom. We're gonna start with the bathroom first super spacious. I personally really like this bathroom because something about being close to the grounds, having this massive picture window and being able to see these views with the cantilever above, more of these um, countertop mount mirrors with LED lighting, another Japanese soaking tub, walk-in closet, walk-in shower here, more of this pearlescent tile, just a beautiful bathroom. Now, let's go check out the bedroom itself king size bed, stone and Venetian plaster walls, TVs on this side, great size room. And I really like 
how they brought the stone from the exterior to the interior and it looks so seamless. It gives this house a very a cohesive look and without a doubt, it's an iconic home. I mean, definitely. I mean, just looking at it alone from the drone shots, it, like Ines says earlier, looks like a piece of modern art just on top of this mountaintop. Amazing, right? Yeah. Now we have this covered patio, hot tub. They also have a fire feature here. I would love to go in this hot tub, go lay in the snow and give myself a little hot and cold therapy, you know? Mm -hmm. It sounds pretty amazing. And we have more of these just breathtaking views. I'm truly grateful that we had the opportunity to come out to Park City to tour this home. And now let's see this place at dusk. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. And if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.